Hello, greetings. See the work. I sorry I cannot talk. I miss certain things, like I missed about what Doctor Faroz Yama told me. Now, uh, in my school, there were couples, young couples who got married later. She thinks that every love is uh, just nonsensical. This Dr. Farooq's Yamad, how will she even know what is uh, far from it? Radha Rani. Now these Muslims like her, who say that uh, Radha Rani was dancing and Krishna was making the gopis dance. Now remember Radha Rani was uh, Older to Krishna. God knows what they're going to think about Krishna. She stopped me from going somewhere. Ooh. So, and she doesn't know about, yeah, there's no, uh, there's a, I didn't get a proper childhood. Uh, there are people, you know, who hum kete we say the childhood love. So, but I, unfortunately, I got a very terrible person. So, another thing I wanted to say is that, you see now, Sri Sri Ravi Shankarji, I was feeling guilty. Smoking on smoking, why do you people smoke and this thing? Who knows that in childhood, who made me smoke, who started me on this? Usko bolna chahiye na, saftar ko bolna chahiye. See how the work is so well done. Bachpan se laga liya, hook addicted. You never tell a child to smoke. I was just taking my father's cigarette to extinguish it all the time. I didn't think of smoking it. Who put that idea in me and who uh, made me take a puff and how to do it? Saftar, the Kashmiri. Usko jute marne chahiye. Ab jute marne se bhi kya honge? Kya hoga? सिगरेट तो नहीं छूटती है ना मेरी आप देखें इतना गिल्टी फील फ्रेंड्स को बार बार नो डोंट स्मोक इफ डोंट स्मोक दिस इज वेरी बैड बट यू नो देन पीपल से वेल यू स्मोक एंड यू आर प्रीचिंग योर फ्रेंड्स व्हाट कैन आई डू मेरी तो बचपन से वो आदत करती सफ्तर ने पहले सिखाया सिखा के so one puff could be very, very dangerous. You know, like in friends, they say smoke. <coughs> or if, uh, no, if, they, if a friend says, well, I smoke at one here in the night just to relax. And it gives that uh, kind of uh, feeling of uh, relaxation and calm. Extremely dangerous. I've known this. So I wasn't able to explain to my friends properly. But I did my best. Can you hear me? Because I, I'm, uh, uh, I've got my headphones on, mic on. Uh, so I've been away from the phone, not realizing that uh, even this doesn't work that well. Uh, So it's uh, not, see all, oh, I, so what these Kashmiri Muslims, Achha, apne ko protect karna, protecting their own children and jeopardizing, damaging the lives of others' children. 
चले अंबर अयूब वो अच्छी सेट अबाउट ईरान इज वर्ल्ड अपने चले अपने माँ बा माँ बहन को नहीं छोड़ते हैं ना तुम लोग कश्मीरों की तरह दे नॉट लाइक यू कश्मीरी मुस्लिम कि दूसरों की माँ बहनों को नहीं छोड़ते बेटियों को नहीं छोड़ते एफिंग द लाइफ एनी वेज यू वो थिंक दैट आई एम वेरी सीरियस अबाउट दिस सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू पीपल बट विल आई गेट डू आई साउंड सिंसियर take your life seriously but at the same time we have these characters rakshits rakshit uh, on one hand they are very good at the uh, they are jack of all trades behavior You know, I went to Doctor Farosi Ahmed's house because she, they sometimes she would call me there to her house. She has a clinic inside her house too, an office. Her brother saw me. What is your good name? So they're also very good in behavior, PR, public relations. <laughs> and the sister is lying and. You know, once uh, Ashwag, my cousin, came and told me that Iram Mateen, their friend, family friend, was going to Karachi University. She had joined uh, Karachi University, and uh, she had taken the subject psychology. So, Dr. Farooq Ziamad was her teacher, lecturer in Karachi University. And I know that uh, Dr. Farosi Ahmed lies, but she will tell you Leila. She will tell you I never lie. She used to call me Leila. I know she lies because through AK Clinic, uh, which was uh, opposite her house, the, she had come. This Gujarati lady, Kachi Gujarati. Uh, she wouldn't let her. she complained to me directly i went to her i started to go to her because all this therapy was not working on me to stop me from going to mr sar's place and forget her uh so i went to ak clinic and then dr anis khan who was opposite her clinic was opposite dr farooq ziamas house told me that uh, this dr farooq ziama there's a terror she sends uh, these her thugs after telling ak uh, dr anis khan to leave uh, they've been harassing her to leave close down the clinic because she wants to uh, dr farooq ziamat wants to monopolize and then god knows what happened first she told me no no it is it, the problem was isn't in you the problem could be in your teacher then she started to get angry at me for no reason i don't even remember what i did to her okay back to so this uh, dr farooq ahmed and oh i forgot to tell you that you know when safdar's mother and they used to come and live upstairs in the servant quarter there was another the there were two servant quarters we had in the old house so they used to live up there make this pink kashmiri saltish tea and i didn't like it at all but i don't remember abusing or ba- behaving badly ever with his family i was very respectful <coughs> although i uh, my grandmother had put me in this you know the tendency to uh, see adults also saying bad words and all so maybe when i was talking <coughs> i don't remember saying bad words to them like not abusing them but just talking and 
bring it like my father does or something, you know. So, but I didn't mean to be, because I'm only thinking of this because another lady told me, a mutual friend of, uh, oh, well, uh, someone um, had, uh, when I grew up, they told me, you know, you used to say bad words in childhood and all that. So I said, oh, really? Uh-huh, I don't remember. But I, uh, yeah, I remember saying bad words to my grandmother. So that, uh, it was all a setup. Or, anyways, no one, there's no evidence. Uh, so, there's no, so, <coughs> out there, uh, someone trapped, anyways, I did not uh, misbehave with Sabdars, don't remember misbehaving, never, ever, uh, Sabdars, mother, wife, children coming and staying over for some time from Kashmir. So uh, their cleverness and their work is like uh, uh, well done, well done. So they can uh, see still smoking. I'm getting it now that you are an adult. When I became an adult, okay, Dimag, like when will it hit you, you know? So are you going to say the same thing to that lady in Umrao John? Isn't it too late? That poor girl, recently I was like, forgive this person. So uh, communication is a telepathy. So I said, yeah. Okay, because then I said, yeah, oh, okay, I'll try to. So I was in the kitchen and they were saying, he's very sorry and forgive him and all this. So I said, yeah, and okay. Um, and then later on, I started to blame myself. So it's it's it comes back to me. Like in Umrah Jan, you know, we were it was uh, she forgives her son who has raped her or molested her, I don't know. I think I've seen Rekha's Rekha is in it in Umrah Jan, right? Can you blame these people? You have to go g- g- Umrah Jan. For, uh, you know what I mean? They are very dirty people, very clever. And the, uh, Rekha was there. Rekha forgives her molester or rapist or the one who put her in this <coughs> and made her Umrao John, the movie, Indian movie, 1981 film. I think I remember it was Umrao John, right? There's something about the bangles also. I rem- a ki- kind of faintly remember that scene. So I was like, you know, I was like, yes. Uh, but then it comes back again and again and I'm blaming myself. And then I think of the smoking and this, not just you, that we should be the great people to forgive. But remember, uh, no, but there's something very cunning, conniving, clever about this man. So I see it always takes me time to gather proper words, correct words. I will uh, try to express myself later. I'm sorry it has to be like this.